this track and field with head coach Dennis Mitchell. In this edition, we recap recent meets, talk to senior Brittany Funk, and look ahead at the Akron Invitational. All this and more coming up. Hi everyone, I'm your host Chrissy Perbonic. Coach, we're about a month into the winter season. I had some tremendous uh, performances from your athletes. How would you assess the season so far? Well, yeah, we've had a pretty good season so far. Mm -hmm. We're a little, we're still not quite up to where we want to be. We're a little flat in some areas, but again, we're we're showing some strength in in, in many others. And last weekend at the Penn State National, a number of records, an impressive number of records, were set. Can you talk to us individually about those performances? Well, yeah, again, we had a. Uh, uh, we had Sean Barber getting the facility record there, mm -hmm. going 18 through and a half. But you know he's ready to make some big moves there. And then we had uh, uh, Veronica Godden. She she ended up with a, uh, a school record in the triple jump. But you know she's. We also feel like she's ready to make some big moves there as well and, and improve. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, of course we had Kyle Cochran in the the 5,000. That was pretty exciting. He pretty much uh, in a very t uh, great race. He he ran alone. Mm -hmm. uh, Quite a bit of the way, and so we were very excited about the uh, performance he had in smashing uh, the school record, and uh, so we're very happy with that. And then we had Alexis Cook there, of course, in the um, uh, shot put, who mm -hmm. uh, you know got a big PR and also won the shot put. And then, uh, um, and then we also have um, uh, we, we also did well a lot of our other distance belts as, as well uh, with uh, uh, Jake Hildner and things like that doing well there as well doing a good job. And you mentioned Sean Barber. He came to the University of Akron with a lot of hype and has been as good as advertised as the number two pole vaulter in the in the country. Uh -huh. How has he lived up to these expectations? Well he's done, he, I mean done, he's done a great job yeah. of, of trying to live up to there. He's you know he's been very consistent but I know he wants much more. Of course mm -hmm. he, he wants to be the number one in the nation and and this is a very very, very strong pole vault field at the national level, one of the best uh, for several years. And so, you know, they're, they're making it pretty challenging for him. And it's going to be a uh, 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 great time when all those uh, good vaulters get together. And Brittany Funk, she had a tremendous 2013 season. Coming off of that and carrying that momentum into this winter, what's been the key to her success? Well, I think the thing is she's, she's been an extremely uh, dedicated athlete mm -hmm. that's really uh, focused year-round on what she needs to get done. And uh, she's just got a lot of that national experience behind her now, and so she's starting to, you know, get within herself and starting to realize she can be one of the best in the nation, if not be the best in the nation. When we come back, we'll talk to senior Brittany Funk. Zips fans, register today for the new and improved rewards program. Earn points and prizes for interacting with the Zips on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and more. Registration is free and easy, and you could win tons of great prizes. Visit ZipsRewards.com today to begin collecting points. Hi everyone, welcome back to Zips Track and Field with head coach Dennis Mitchell. I'm your host Chrissy Pervonic. I'm joined with senior Brittany Funk. Brittany, 2013 really seemed to be a breakout year for you. Was there any moment during that season that everything really seemed to click? Um, I would have to say, I mean, from the moment that I threw my huge PR, mm -hmm. um, everything just happened to go from there and throwing against Brooke Plager, which won the MAC last year, which <laughs> Um, but I would have to say from that moment forward, after I mean, I kept PR in every week up until that point, and yeah. then I mean, I put the bar a little higher that week. But uh, I, I would have to say from that moment, it was where it started to click for me. And you were able to compete in two NCAA championships. What were those experiences like for you? Um, the indoor one was definitely an eye opener because I'd never competed at one before, and I took ninth, mm -hmm. which just missed podium and got. Just got second team All-American, just missing first team All-American. So that was a huge eye-opener for me and made me work that much harder to become first team All-American outdoor instead of second team just missing it and just missing the podium. But it was an amazing experience. And to go second team and then to go first team, just, you know, that it was just crazy. It was crazy. Who were some of your idols growing up? Um... I would have to say most definitely my mom yeah. and my grandpa. And I mean, you would, you would expect me to say somebody in sports, mm -hmm. but uh, my, they were there for me through everything, pushing me, my biggest fans. So I would have to say they're my biggest idols. And what are your goals this year for 2014? Um, definitely uh, for indoor, 
I want to take down Stevie Large's record. I'm only three quarters of an inch away right now. Oh wow! So that's a huge goal of mine, and I, my, the beginning of my goal for the weight throw was to take down Stevie's record, and become first team All American mm -hmm. indoor, and also possibly try and to win indoor nationals. So that's definitely a huge goal right now. And then outdoor, I want to be top four and obviously take down Stevie's record again in the hammer throw. So th those are my huge records. And win Mac, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck to you, Brittany. Thank you. When we come back, Coach and I will preview the upcoming meet. Even the smallest Zip can be a part of the team by joining Zippy's Kids Club. It's the coolest club around for kids 12 and under. Zippy's Kids Club is presented by North Akron Savings Bank. For more information, visit gozips.com slash Zippy's Kids Club. Hi everyone, welcome back to Zips Track and Field with head coach Dennis Mitchell. I'm your host, Chrissy Furbonic. Coach, the Akron Invitational is coming up this weekend. Some of the nation's best, best athletes will be here. For someone who's never been to a college track meet, what can we expect? Well, again, it's going to be a, a big meet with mm -hmm. great uh, performers there. But one thing we like to do, we just try to make the meet into a great spectator event. And so we encourage people if they're to come out from the, the three to six period of time that we're having to meet. That's when we have a big invitational with Gold Division. Uh, you're going to see some outstanding matchups. We're going to really uh, highlight them all through the meet. So, okay. you know, the basic fan can come out there and really know what's going on and then really get into the competition we're having. And what, what is it about the University of Akron that makes these other elite athletes really want to come here and well, compete? I, th I think it's the, it's the uh, excitement of being in the type of meets we put on. We really try to make them uh, uh, fan friendly. And, uh, you know, we get the music going and we, mm -hmm. we really promote and hype up each one of those athletes as well. In fact, we're, we'll do quite a presentation to hype up this weekend of the athletes coming in. And, and it really gets in the, in, in the mood to, uh, to perform well. And how can this help meet, how can this meet help prepare you for the MAC Indoor Championships coming up? Well, what it does is it continues to put pressure on our athletes to, to really perform well. And, and uh, you know, when they're put in a big time uh, atmosphere, you know, they got to come through. And when they've got that, you know, people have so much expectations of them, you know, put a little pressure on them. They get used to that pressure and, then, and, and they get used to that. And hopefully they'll, they'll come out with some great marks. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Akron will host the annual Akron Invitational Friday, February 7th and Saturday, February 8th at Style Athletics Fieldhouse. Come and join us Saturday from 3 to 6 for the Gold Invitational. For head coach Dennis Mitchell, I'm your host, Chrissy Furbonic, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>